Welcome to our installation guide for the Nauticam Raptor underwater housing for the Red V Raptor 8K VV cinema camera. You'll want to first begin by installing the camera. You'll find two housing levers located on each side along the back of the housing. Simply push in the red buttons, move both housing levers outward into the release position, and remove the rear of the housing. With the rear of the housing removed, activate the moisture alarm and vacuum electronics by flipping the electronic switch on. To remove the camera tray, move the tray lever into the release position and pull the tray out. Attach the top of the camera tray to the Raptor and secure it in place by using the included Allen wrench and turning all four of the Allen screws located on the camera tray clockwise. Then attach the bottom support plate shown here to the bottom of the camera by rotating both thumb screws clockwise. Next, attach the right side control bracket shown here by rotating the three ratcheted thumb screws found on the control bracket clockwise. Lastly, if you're using a Canon RF to EF lens adapter, attach the lens control bracket shown here to the left side of the camera by rotating the two ratcheted thumb screws clockwise. With the camera and tray assembled, slide the tray back into the housing and then secure it in place by moving the tray lever back into the locked position. Next, plug in the LIMO cable to the EXT output located on the rear bottom of the Raptor camera to enable the housing's electronic controls. If you're connecting an external monitor, you'll need to install your Nauticam SDI bulkhead into any of the M16 bulkheads located along the rear of the housing. You can see the web links below for installing your specific monitor and housing to the camera. Next, plug in the SDI cable from your monitor to the SDI output on the camera, and then attach your battery. For a full list of compatible batteries with the housing, just see the web link below the video here. Lastly, place the rear of the housing back on and rotate both housing levers back into the locked position. You'll hear a loud click noise once the levers are locked into place. To install a lens, begin by moving the focus and zoom control knobs to the release position. Next, attach the lens to the front of the camera. Move the focus and zoom control knobs back into the lock position, and then perform a quick function test to ensure that both the zoom and focus controls are working properly. To attach a port to the housing, start by placing the port lever into the release position. Line up the white dot on the port to the white dot on the housing and then firmly push the port into place. Then simply move the port lever back into the lock position. In addition to Nauticam's traditional full mechanical controls, the Raptor housing also integrates a series of electronic controls with backlighting along the left hand side and top of the camera. These controls can access iris, shutter, ISO, white balance on the left side of the housing, and pre-record, frames per second, playback, play pause, magnify, and tools along the top of the housing. To enable these controls, you'll need to route power out from the camera. Simply power up the camera and press the menu button, then navigate to System Settings, Power, and then ensure the power out is toggled on. Next, press and hold the pre-record button for approximately three to four seconds. You'll notice the electronic controls light up to confirm they're working. To turn off the electronic controls, 
simply press and hold the auto wipe balance button for approximately 3 to 4 seconds. To pull a vacuum pre-check test, begin by removing the vacuum valve cap and ensure the vacuum electronics are on and the indicator light is flashing blue. Attach the vacuum pump and begin pumping. You'll notice the indicator light along the back of the housing turning from flashing blue to flashing yellow and then eventually to solid green. Once the light turns green, stop pumping and reattach the vacuum valve cap. And now you're ready to dive. For further information on this product, questions or support, please contact our staff directly. We're more than happy to help.